guys, it's Amanda from Eat, Pray, Crunch, and I just thought I would show you our little diaper changing setup here, just as a short little video, since I have it all set up as part of all the nesting I've been doing. Don't mind me talking really quiet, Alex is asleep down the hall. <laughs> but I thought I would show you real quick our changing station setup, since um, we did originally have this in Alex's room, but now that we moved him to his big boy room, which is down at the end of the hallway there. Um, we thought that since we we're going to have two kids in diapers, at least for a short period, that we would just put um, the changing station in our hallway. <laughs> we had the space for it, so we thought, hey, why not? And this is our bedroom here, so it's just right by our bedroom, which is really nice. So anyway, I'll just show you our little setup here for disposable and cloth diapering. We've got, um, this is Bill's sense of humor right here on the uh, cloth diaper pail. <laughs> so this is our cloth diaper pail, and currently, since we don't use very many disposables, we just have this little itty bitty um, trash can for when, for when we do now and then. Um, but we do have an old diaper genie that we will probably pull out and use, especially as, you know, the first few weeks when Probably Alex and Baby Girl will be in disposables as we're making our adjustment, so we'll probably pull that out and use it. And I ordered these little plastic things that are meant to be diaper organizers because there is no extra surface space on our changing table. And sometimes when you are especially changing a toddler, you need to have that, you know, the wipes and everything, the butt paste and powder and all of that right at hand. And so, um, so we got one for each side. I just have all the little combs and brushes and that kind of thing over there. And I have our water squirt bottle here for um, when we use cloth wipes, which we use mostly just for number ones, <laughs> but it does help us save some money on wipes. And down here, I have all of our snappies for the cloth diapers. And in here, I have a little extra butt paste. And I always use coconut oil, actually, is my go-to diaper rash preventative, actually. So I just have that in a little bowl there. And top drawer here, I have all of our newborn disposables. So we'll get through these, and then once we're through those, we will switch over to the newborn cloth diapers, which I have a little stash of back here. I have a little all-in-one cloth diaper and some newborn size covers. And when I was at the consignment shop, I actually got these little newborn size inserts. So I'll probably use those with the newborn covers. These are Alex's night binkies here, so he doesn't know where they are. <laughs> and once she gets a little bit bigger, because if she's anything like Alex, she will only be in newborn size diapers for no more than a month. <laughs> and so um, we have the extra small Thirsty's covers here, and the Green Mountain Yellow Edge um, size small prefolds, and that's what we will transition into after the newborn diapers. And here is Alex's stash. He's in now the size large prefolds, and these are the doublers that we use at nighttime to help with extra absorbency. And we have um, Alex's covers. One of these days I will actually talk about my whole cloth diapering system and why I chose it and um, the covers that we have and everything. But um, the ones I have are the Swaddle Bees Capri, which are actually, I think they were bought out by Blueberry now. Um, so we got a few of the coverall wraps as well. These are from my mom. She got us some really cute girly neat ones. And this is um, Alex's disposable stash. And here is, just underneath the changing table, I have all the spare wipes and spare disposables and all of that. So that is our changing table set up um, out in a open location where we can use it for both kids. <laughs> 